we are back. So Teamer Ramp. Um, for those of you who are playing just a couple short weeks ago, uh, Omnath was running around and we had a bunch of ramp style shells um, kind of abusing stuff with Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, so this is a similar kind of concept deck. You have Lotus Cobra that can generate extra mana when lands come into play. We have ways to get extra lands in Cultivate and Beanstalk Giant. Uh, and basically what we're trying to do is get out a Genesis Ultimatum to which we can then um, play out these big spells. Uh, spell it land wise, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm actually gonna go down to Tangle Florhedron and up a Cultivate. And then we'll run it like that. Um, your payoff card, so you can Genesis Ultimatum ideally into Terror of the Peaks uh, to win any of your creatures under the battlefield, you just deal damage, so it's a way you could potentially one-shot your opponent. Otherwise, you have like the Adventure Shell of like Bone Crusher and Brazen Boro for Disruption. Gargaroth is just a big tank on its own, and then you can refill your hand with like Seagate Restoration. Um, you have Ugin to cat clean up the board. Uh, Phylanth is something I want to try out. It's like a like lower end Avenger Zendikar, um, looking at basic lands in play and you get to put counters on just a single line uh, but it's kind of a way to hopefully jank out your opponent sideboard wise we just become more of a controly shell if needed so against control we can bring in shark Typh typhoon and mystical dispute in place of genesis ultimatum and some of the top end which gets countered easy we have another ugin versus the food decks just to sweep up uh, ooze versus graveyard and then lantern as well um, seeing this i may want some number of um, ways to blow up enchantments. So maybe let's cut this, trim this, play a negate. Sorry, I uh, some of these decks came from CFB. So like the tournament. So now when I'm actually looking at them in detail, um, wilt is something we want. Okay. My deck's not 60 cards. Why is my deck not 60 cards? Oh, we took out and we forgot to put the fourth cultivate. Okay, let's fire this up. Starting, we got up to 126 and now we're back down to mid 250s. Opponent's at 98%. Shotzi. Probably try this out. They're on Luris. Rogues. So Rogues is actually a really good matchup. Oh, they're on the Gargoyle, Gargoyle version. I should have played out this blue source. I could have brazen board. So if they play out, yeah. So with Thieves Guild, I'll stomp it here. So we lost Lotus Cobra and a Cultivate. To be honest, if we could get one of these Terrors down, should be decent. Spend the turn like that. Um, probably just play this out. Because they need land, but even with Luris, they're not casting much. So let's wait to see with that what we want to play color-wise, because I can just get Terror of the Peaks out. This needs seven cards to attack. We're currently at four. Okay, so they can play out Luris here. And then they can play out the Wind Robber. Okay, that's pretty good. This turns this on. S 
So... Terror opens us up to get encountered. Honestly think we probably just... Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant. This has Menace anyway, so I can't block it. If they want to trade, they can trade. You don't see much rogues right now in like the higher rank. And here I kind of want to get them to tap out. So I'm not doing it on this because they can sack it in response. If we can sneak in like a Genesis ultimatum, it could be okay, but might be rough in this matchup. Yeah, they're being pretty... They're going to have the counters here. This is the worst matchup for us. I might just concede this. What have they seen so far? Because the thing is, I'm two blues off this anyways. I guess we can do this. Play this out. This can block. Might bait a counter out of them. My guess is they're waiting for another black source. They hit us for nine here. I know they can sack this, but I want to see if they maybe use a counter spell here. I'm just hoping for an untapped blue source into Genesis Ultimatum. Well, we try. We're pretty dead on board. So... Deal it to you. Red. Red. Nah, we're short. We short. Because what I was trying to do was get enough. So this is a Mystical Dispute in matchup. We actually don't have any escape cards, which seems very silly in this build. We need to put that in post board. Shark Typhoon's probably fine. Um, against their build, I don't think Bone Crusher's that good. Gargaroth's okay. Just trim some of this top end. Do I want the negates? Probably not. Let's try it like this. This build might be too sh like shoddy. We should be playing at least two escape style threats. 
Maybe scavenger scavenging ooze comes in here. You can eat at our graveyard in theirs. We're gonna fix this up after this game. That game snowballed from turn two when I didn't play the blue source out instead of the green. Okay, well this hand, we don't have payoff yet, but we have ramp. We got Lotus Cobra here. Okay, I got Thieves Guild. No removal. That kind of sucks. So I'm going to shock here because I do want to play the Cultivate out. Then play out this Fabled Passage. I'm going to just play this out as a blocker. Ghostly Pillier. Okay, so we got the Ultimatum. Which will be nice. So I think this turn we just play play you out. Play you tapped, say go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they tap out. I didn't say please. Okay, so they can still have dispute. So I think we wait a turn. Yeah, we definitely wait a turn here to try to hold up the dispute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to throw a block here. See if they discard a card here. Just keep our life total insulated. So we do this. Ah, uh, I'm actually missing a blue here. Well, YOLO. This deck shit. Oh, their tanks are rank. Jeez. Take a look at this. Thought we had the blue mana. I don't like those. I think we want to be maximizing our options here. Sideboard wise, cut down.
play two of these. Try this one one more. If it feels kind of lackluster, we'll uh, call it quits on it. That's straight up the worst matchup for this deck. Just cheap quick clock that can also mill, and then they have the interaction. I don't think it made a difference if we played out the... You know what? We probably should have played the Cobra first. Two, it would have generated four mana, so we would have had enough. So that was probably the line. Yorian Blink. So they usually play four negates main. So we've just queued up. This deck is probably not good with all the blue Blink decks going around. Oh, this might be um, number one mythic was playing uh, Jeskai Luka. They play Trags Magnify and um, so I can't play Cultivate out. Because if they play Trans Magnify, then I'm dead on board. So next turn, they, they uh, cheat in Dream Trawler, which other than Ugin will have a bit of a difficulty. Like our terrors can block it. So we can, I'm basically holding up these Brazen Bars as bounce for what they target. Spell fizzles, so I can do this. I can do this. So get a forest, get an island. So birth means same idea. They bring Yorian into hand. Cultivate doesn't let me do what I want to do here. Should have cultivated because I need to hold up the. They get the token again. They could have Luca this turn. If they don't play anything, then I just flash in this Brazen Borar, which is fine. So I have, I need another blue or another red. Let's let them resolve this. them do this before they get an idea of what we're going to be doing for the turn. I think we wait on this. Perfect. So true that. So 
So I think we just passed the turn. We're one mana short. I don't want to cultivate because I can't play out another land. We're also running out of basics with two Fabled. I'd rather keep the Fabled Passage if possible. Just take four here. And then Genesis Ultimatum again. Try to hit Ugin. Yeah. Face, face. Fortunately, these don't actually do anything. Um, I have five mana. Logan Legend, thanks for the follow. So I can just set him up for lethal here. Because next turn I play this out and I hit him for 26. I also have just a ton of power on board. I got some Dream Trawler. Valakut's Awakening is a nice card to put back like your useless Lucas and stuff like that. Done. Mystical Dispute negates Shark Typhoons. Wilt is probably something we want in this matchup. Do we want Ugins? Yeah, we're probably just going to be playing like a control. So... Tangled Florhedron could come out. Beanstalk could come out. Trim a couple Cultivates. Trip a couple Genesis. One tear, one phylanth. Bring it like that. Post board, we become like a uh, team or control. So it lets us attack them at a different angle. As we have for the opponent. For those new to the channel, I'm MTG Joe. Stream four to six times a weekish, depending on the week. Uh, play primarily standard and historic on MTG Arena. Uh, we started today at 246. We peaked at 126 and then uh, dropped down. We started off with Andre Starsky's Green White uh, Yorian, um, and now we're playing Teamer Ramp. Uh, all my content, if you do ever miss it live on Twitch, I have everything. Uh, truncated and archived onto my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. Uh, you can catch it all there. If you do enjoy the content, it's just following. It would be greatly appreciated. It would be good.
So that game where they just didn't interact with us, like unlike the rogue matchup. Yeah, probably keep this. This is actually pretty good because um, if they play, oh, oh, Tome's gonna get blown up. Uh, let's go you. Wilt also can hit the artifact uh, from Bertha Miladies, the wall. Okay, setting up their scry here. So here, let's do this. It's a little annoying. So my plan was to do that and then cultivate and then be able to wilt this. It does give us an opening to drop Gargaroth down. Cultivate next turn. We need to be watch out, like watch out when we attack because they play Omen of the Sun. Interesting, they brought in the uh, Essence Scatter. I'd like a Mystical Dispute, ideally. I think here what we do is we play this out, make green mana, cultivate. If they want to waste a counter spell here, they can. We're just going to play the kind of tempo-y game here until we can draw a counter spell to sneak something down. Probably look to start drawing with that. Let's use our mana here. Okay. So I'm doing this pre combat. to make it seem like we might have uh... do I care at this point if they I think we just hold back if they omen of the sun I want to make it seem like we have mystical dispute up for their trawler okay that's fine Gargaroth still attacks into Dream Trawler really well. They play Luka. Oh, you know what? I should have gone to full control mode.
Hugen is something. So we Ugin. I'm probably just gonna shoot this down. I don't think exiling our Gargaroth is really where we wanna be. Cause even here if they conquer's death, they need to choose between the two. And then I have this sh uh, smashing. Might be able to steal this one. Just trying to find Genesis Ultimatum here, or the Shark Typhoon of my own. Because they need to play a card draw. Yeah. Cultivates kind of ma mana neutral here, so they have land. Conquer's death? Yeah. Well, they pulled that off. They needed... That was my only hesitation. I'm going to keep this smashing just as a way to deal some extra damage. Um, I'm one short, and I do think I want to keep up Brazen Borrower because of the tax. So I'm just going to play this out hardcast. Or actually, this pops off anyways. I should have just stomped them and done that. This omen transmognify. No, just bring it to hand. Yorin blank, get rid of bone crusher. Yeah, we need we need something. Ugin off the top. How about a land? It's not the best play, but we get to use our mana this turn, and I get to poke in some damage. I think I want the scavenging oozes in this matchup. It's another early play I can do, and then I can sink mana into it. Okay. Fix up your hand. Yeah, the problem is you win a match, you go up 150 spots. You lose a match, you go down 200 spots. After this one, we're going to be top 250. Thanks, John. Did you hit Mythic yet? 
I saw you were a couple wins away. What do we got? They have a counter. Okay, Omen trying to dig for negate here. This would have been much better without the Conqueror's Death Tax. I will take a Gargaroth. Please and thank you. So we got Genesis. Two Genesis. <sighs> Get another Conqueror's Death. Eighty cards always got it. They did Valakid Awakening. And then with the tome, it also shapes up their deck. So they can counter this by discarding Doing this on their upkeep where they have less options. Okay, so they probably got rid of. Probably want negate in this matchup if they've gone more control oriented. Just playing out Ugin or Genesis Alt are kind of our plays. We have Counterspell Backup, 8% of drawing one of those. We have some Shark Typhoons as well, which we just haven't seen. Yeah, honestly, like any of that at this point, they're going to get like stupid value. They should draw a card off this first. Yeah. So they should have gone to full control, drawn a card first, and then you get a free value there. I don't think it matters much at this point in the game. Maybe we're not supposed to be this interactive. On the play, I'm going to go more linear. Or at least take out the Bone Crusher Giants. I don't think they're as relevant post board. Or maybe take out the Brazen Borrower. Yeah, we're dead here. So get rid of Brazen because it just gets blocked in the sky. Bring in the Terror. Yeah, I'm thinking we we do that. Bring another Genesis. Typhoon, Ugin. Maybe not that. Play a Bone Crusher Giant. Let's try it like that. 
Yeah. I think we just try to ramp like hell. They showed Essence Capture as their counter spell. Sounds pretty shit. Okay, we'll keep this. If they use it on that though, then they're not using a Gargaroth, and play draw probably has a difference. Let's go red here. Yeah. I just, if we can stick a Gargaroth. Come on. Um, so Fabled Passage lets me do it next turn. Actually, Fabled Passage lets me so it's land, doesn't really make a difference. Actually, I can do this. Just wilt here. Or, yeah, let's just play out Bone Crusher. Save this for ECD. Next turn, I can Gargaroth. Upkeep Scry. Upkeep Scry is a good sign. That means the opponent's scared. This does get us get hit by Mystical Dispute. Hmm. This is an interesting line because this gets hit by Mystical Dispute. But then I can attack in for six. I think we split the difference here. Do we want to play around? Need another blue source here. Don't have it. Yeah, didn't have it. Just saying go though, it gives them a free, oh, oh they actually were tapped there, so they couldn't draw a card. Dig, dig opponent. That was a risky line. We kind of bluffed that we had that this. Ooh, Typhoon. Okay. 
I guess that's something. Oh, they gained four life here. I guess I could have wilted it, but I think we use that if they have Conqueror's Death. Yeah. Actually, that's a good call. I think they're dead anyways. Sick! Sick, sick, sick. Okay, hopefully it takes us back to like 200s. Okay, so we pretty much ran 